Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody, let's take a look at the euro currency again. So uh, guys, right now market stands in a row with our analysis as the medium term analysis that we have discussed on the weekly research as with the short term one. Because yesterday we said that uh, the recent market behavior, especially on the hourly chart, suggests a new upside action where the market could really hit the weekly pivot resistance one or even monthly pivot resistance one. And that has happened because yesterday we have drawn the Butterfly on the hourly chart and said that as reversal pattern around the monthly pivot point has failed, I recall our head and shoulders we will, uh, that we have discussed uh, on the previous week and in the beginning of this week, uh, then it just confirms that market is really as ready and could continue to move higher. And uh, that has happened. Right now, as you can see, market uh, not has hit not just the uh, pivot resistances, but also the daily ever bond and the current retracement down looks absolutely normal uh, from uh, from any point of view. So from the short term perspective, that's normal because market has completed a reversal intraday pattern and has hit daily ever bond and the pivot resistance. From the long term, uh, or better to say medium term perspective, this also seems logical. Because if you will take a look at the 4 hour time frame chart, you probably recall what we have discussed in our weekly research in the weekend. Recall that we have mentioned uh, this potential reversal head and shoulders pattern. In our major question stand whether we will get a big pattern or we will get the small pattern. And we said if market will stop here and turn to the downside from this area, we will get minor head and shoulders. But if market will continue move right to the weekly pivot resistance one, monthly pivot resistance one, that also stands in this area, we will get big head and shoulders patient. And the major thing that we also said is that we do not care much what patient will be because if you will take a look as the low of the smaller pattern, I mean the bottom of the shoulders, as the bottom of the shoulders of the big patron stands at the same area. The, hence, what does it mean for us? It means that we, despite what pattern we will get, either big or small, Major point that we will watch for is 123.70 area, is the bottom of the right shoulder. And we do not care much whether it will be big patron or small. So as the first part of our trading plan has been completed, and you can see the market has reached the neckline and has reached this area, now the second stage has started. And the second stage of the plan is focused on possible downward retracement and creation of the right shoulder of this pattern. It means that according to our trading plan market should pass approximately 100 pips lower to the 123.70 FIP support where the theoretically the bottom of the right shoulder should appear. Another reason why market could do this is, is the weekly pivot point. So if you will take a look at this area you will see that market has not tested this level during the current week. And the return right back down in testing of this level seems absolutely normal. Because when you know that the market gravitates and trying to uh, touch the pivot points with a 70% probability within the period, uh, within the time period. Since we trade within the week in this weekly pattern that market uh, has the really significant uh, odds to test the pivot point within the week. And uh, since weekly pivot point stands very close, just 20 pips higher than the, our support, we see we, we see this probability very significant, and that market really could continue move lower. But uh, despite the pivot points, um, uh, our major uh, concern, and ma major uh, pattern that we will be watching for is of course this reversal head and shoulders pattern. Um, now, if we we'll take a look at the hourly chart. What we see, that's our butterfly, you can see that the target has been hit, pips to pips, 1618 extension of this butterfly. So we have started discussion when the market was here yesterday, 
So that was the butterfly completed. That third confirmation of the possible re deeper retracement. And uh, that points on the reversal. So because butterfly is reversal patient, it has been formed right at daily ever bot and weekly and monthly pivot resistance one. And it also confirms the starting retracement. So in fact the butterfly has triggered this retracement down. The target of this retracement, as we said, we expect to get Swan 2370 FIP support. Well, uh, what else we could say? Mm, today, guys, all eyes will be on the Fed. And as we have announced yesterday, the major concern of the investors stands around the phrase of the Fed in the statement, considerable period of time. That rates will remain low, considerable period of time, if they will exclude this part that will be the point that investors expect to see. As investors uh, think that Fed will make if they uh, will try to shift and uh, to make the statement more hawkish. But with the decreasing of the crude oil prices and um, they, they could uh, hold the previous statement intact. That's also possible. So what, we will see the reaction of the market. But if, if we would like to see these actions with 123.70, logically to suggest that uh, some, some more hawkish uh, points should come from the Fed because this will assume the appreciation of the sh short term appreciation of the dollar. And that really could fall due to the Fed statement. It's, it's really possible. So if you're a scalp trader, you also could be interested with this 25 confidence resistance. That's very short-term perspective. So if market will show the bounce up, well, maybe this area will be useful for you if you're searching possibility to take into sh scalp short position here. That's the area that you could be watching for. But for us, guys, since our anal analysis most, mostly has relation to the daily perspective, our major point is to watch for 12370 are in the end of this retracement. Uh, currently market stands uh, very close to the our expectation and what we have said in our weekly research. But let's see whether it will stand with it further, any further. On the daily chart we also see that approximately this area is the broken line of the wage pattern. So market could for example retest this area but this will be a bit lower. Well yes that will be too low. If, all, if only market will show the fast retracement, but hardly it will happen. Anyway, so that's probably not suitable tool for us. Well, anyway, uh, we will be watching for primary this passion. And let's see, so till the end of the week, it's not really much time. Uh, and let's see what we will get as a result of the Fed mostly, and how Euro will react on this, and whether we will. Uh, get finally this patch on our market will fail here. So it's a very interesting situation right now in the euro currency. It's very promising. So let's see what we will get.